Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to the video for what is game user settings, the Git default resolution scale node. So uh, let me show you what this node does. Let me show you how it's broken, and then let me show you how to fix it. So the Git default resolution scale node is intended to give you back the default resolution scale based on the current desired screen height and the current screen resolution. So for the most part, this is going to give you back something around 100%, but it can give you back different values, and it can give you back invalid values depending on when you use this node, and it's important to note. You'd use this if you want to find out what the current default resolution scale is for your settings. Now, if we were to pull off of our Git Game User Settings node and do default, we'll find it. It's under Git Default Resolution Scale, and it's going to return back a float value. Now, let me actually hook up this node here and run it, and you will see the value printed out in the top left. And when I hit play, well, we find inf. It's an infinite number, actually. It's going to be this giant number here, which is highly amusing. Now, there's a reason it's an infinite number. Previously, I've gone in and I've reset to default my settings, which actually happens like the first time you initialize your game user settings. And there's a weird bug or feature or condition that can be met if you don't properly use the game user settings. And let me show you this. So here's my game user settings right here. And the problem you're going to run into is if your desired screen width and height are not valid values inside of your settings file. They're not valid values inside of our settings file because when we reset them to the defaults, it set them to zero and zero. Let me um, delete this and let me rerun this and then close this. Uh, I'm gonna need to shoot, I'm gonna need to apply the settings first. Hold on a second. Let's do a here. Let's do this. We are. Let's hook up our. I need to actually show you this here let's set to defaults right here here we go and after we set to defaults we're going to go ahead and apply the settings so it saves it we're going to run this code this should reset everything to defaults and i'm done let's go ahead and kill the apply settings let's go ahead and go back to our resolution scale let's save this out and run it and we should see 100 which is good. We should have 100 because we've gone ahead and we've saved out the values properly. And if we look in our file, which always hides from me, you'll find that we have a desired screen width of 1280, 720, and we have a resolution of 1280, 720. Therefore, when we do the math, we have 100. Now, if I was to actually go in here and hook back up my default settings, and I don't have apply plugged in, we're just going to change the game user settings node to be the default. Let me go ahead and delete my file. And let's run this. Now everything's set to defaults. Let's hook back up this node here. We're going to hit play. And we're going to get infinite. Now, if we were in the proper non playing editor i'd have a game user settings file we could check out but right now it's using the one internally loaded up into memory the code when we set to default actually sets our default desired resolution to zero and so when we try to do the math with the resolution scale it's trying to determine what 1280 divided by zero is and we have an issue so if you're getting the default resolution scale or you're doing anything with the resolution scale and you get back a value of giant number or infinite. It's because your default values for the desired height and width are bad. They actually have a node built in to fix it, and this is actually the way you're supposed to do it. If you ever get your game user settings, you should validate the node afterwards, right here. Now, after I validate the settings, it's going to go in and fix any problems, and we should actually get a valid resolution scale now. 
Let's go ahead and run this. And you'll find I have 100, and you'll find I have a valid range here. I'll play it again, and you'll find it saved my valid range, and I have, see, a nice valid range here. Let's go back to play. Uh, let's set this to something like 53 and close it. Run it again. Look, we have 53 again. So our resolution scale itself for the default is working fine, assuming we validate the settings. And we only really have to validate the settings once. If you go in here and we play this again, you'll find I have the proper values. When you run the validate settings node, it fixes the glitch basically of the zero zero setting. So once it's been fixed, it's fine unless we have to reset the defaults. So it's been a fairly long video, but I just need to explain you're going to run into an issue with this node if you don't validate your settings properly. If you validate your settings properly and you have valid values, because again, uh, it's not in here because I haven't saved yet, but the game user setting uses the desired screen height and the current screen resolution. If either of those are invalid, you'll get back bad numbers. So that's going to wrap up this video. I know it was long-winded, but you will run into the issue, and I've actually had a few people mention they've had this issue, so I want to make sure you know how to clear it up. But this node basically takes in our game user settings and returns back the default resolution scale based on the current values inside of your game user settings.